Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another Simpsons Tapped Out idea. And of course, in the uh, the poll in the Discord, you voted for this, the Superheroes Part 3. So, yeah, I kind of like, I, I love the superhero updates. I, I'm not a massive fan of the second one. I think that, that one has a bit of issues, mainly just because a lot of the characters are a bit no-name. And I feel like a lot of the... The sort of the jazz that we got from the first superheroes wasn't very present in superheroes 2 but superheroes 1 is one of my all-time favorite updates for sure i love that update and you know i feel like people were very superheroed out especially after the superpowers mini update we got so technically this would be the fourth superheroes update we've got actually if you don't count the um the superpowers one gave us every man right I'm pretty sure. And then there was another Superheroes Returns that gave us uh, Senor Ding Dong. So actually, there's technically been four. This would be the fifth superhero update. <laughs> so, um, yeah. People were about a bit superheroed out. And I can understand that. There was We got one one year, and then the following year, we got a second one. And it was like a bit like, wow, that was a, that was a lot of superhero stuff. So, I could understand that. But I think time has passed now. I think we're ready for a Superheroes 3, and I think this could be a real redeeming update. So this is the one that I've created, but uh, obviously mine, I try and be as re realistic as possible. Mine aren't always exactly what Tap Tap would do. It's stuff that's not impossible. They've done similar things in the past, uh, but you never know with Tap Tap. So let's get into the startup. So the startup is bought, is caught stealing. Uh, Bunsen burners, that's Bunsen burners, for a prank, and Skinner lectures him on how stealing is wrong. Bart says sorry and all, but Skinner wants him to go to prison to see what what fate could lie for him. Bart visits the prison with Homer and Marge, and, and meets Snake, who tries to encourage Bart to try commit crimes. As Marge starts berating Snake, suddenly the prison walls crumble. Obviously, you would have to have, like, prison walls. But Wigan panics, rushing in. Something tore down the wall. It was a... It was a m -m 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 monster, and um, all the prisoners begin to escape. So you make Snake escape, make Bart learn about the monster, and make Homer learn about the monster, and make Marge learn about the monster, and make Wiggum soil himself whilst describing the monster, or, you know, or panic. Maybe he soiled himself is a bit too much, and that will unlock the event. So the four act currencies are: the first act is cupcakes, the second act is feathers, the third act is Everyman comics, and the fourth act is dodge poles. Also, if you're wondering, I have none of the Vindicators. I know the Vindicators are like a really popular thing. At least I've seen a lot of people being like they should have Chinos and all the other Vindicators. You know, the Avengers parody. I've actually not included any of them in there, in here. Mainly because I think there's so much content from the other sort of superhero appearances. I thought that stuff is enough, you know. We could do a Vindicators thing somewhere in the future. I want to get the stuff that is in the past episodes first. So, the Gills deal is going to come along, and this is going to be probably a bit of an unrealistic Gills deal, but I figured, why not? They have done similar things, like they've done three-in-one characters before, obviously with the nerds, the mega nerd, uh, the nerd, the university nerd. Uh, Gills deal, we got that one time, which was three-in-one characters. This will be six-in-one uh, a bundle. So this will be 360 donuts, which I think is fairly reasonable for a Gills deal, and, you know, for getting six costumes. And these will be Poison Lenny, of course, the Toker, which is here, with one for Otto, one for Lenny, one for Otto, Sugar for uh, Selma, uh, Spice for Patty, the Diddler for Flanders, and Mr. Mole for Hans Moleman. And also, in Hans Moleman's tasks, you will also unlock uh, a manhole, and this will just be the regular manhole. And this will also add to store as well. So this will just be, imagine this is in the act store. It's in all the acts. But, and it will just be cash. So it's not a big deal, but you get one of them free anyway in, in his uh, in his prize track. So, or his quest line. So that's the Gills deal uh, done. I feel like there's a lot of cool, these costumes are just pretty awesome. I, I, I think they could, I don't know if, Adding them as separate really makes sense. I feel like a big Gills deal would be cool enough, and it just gives us, yeah, it just gives us them all. In the store, though, for Act 1 will be Edna's Edibles with Cupcake Kid for 150 donuts. Now, the main reason why I've combined these two, I know it's obviously Cupcake Kid was never seen there. Obviously, uh, Edna's Edibles sold cupcakes, so that makes sense uh, on that side of things, but also because of, obviously, Edna 
being a retired character. I'm I'm unsure if they are going to do anything with her character in the future. And obviously, this was a part of an episode, so I feel like throwing it in the superheroes update works. To be honest, um, you could still have some quest lines with Cupcake Kid and uh, Edna maybe in the quest line. But yeah, that'll be 150 donuts. So in the price track, we're going to tell us the town not to be alarmed. While uh, with the increase of burglary, now all the prisoners are out. Him and the cops are working on it. Marge is concerned about the home being burgled, but Homer says he'll defend it uh, with his bat. So you make Marge tell Bart not to get any funny ideas, but he does. Oh, sorry, Marge tells Bart not to get any funny ideas, but he does. He's going to be Cupcake Kid and stop these criminals. So you make Bart stop robberies, make Homer defend the house, make Marge worry about the valuables, make Wiggum fail to stop criminals, and make Springfielders earn cupcakes, and this will unlock the Crime City Natural History Museum. So obviously in the episode it's called the Gotham Natural History Museum. But we can't really have that, can we, because of the copyright thing. I just propose just rename it Crime City Natural History Museum as like a parody thing. I feel like this one does look very similar to museums we've already got in the game before. Which could be a thing, an issue, but I don't know. I feel like you could throw it in, give it a proper, like a new name. Uh, have this little banner in here, maybe make the, the outer areas a bit more unique, and then maybe have the spotlights there as well. Try and make it as unique as possible. It was It's always going to be similar to previous other museums we've got, but, you know, hey-ho. Uh, Wiggum tells Bart that he's doing a lot of work, more than Lou and Eddie, but the serpent is at large, and he's robbing more than most of the petty crooks. The serpent has already robbed the crime museum, and the serpent stole all of... all. Sorry stole all of the stuff, uh, sold all the stuff, sorry, to Herman. He asks Bart to get back the Crime City Museum stuff. So you make Bart interrogate Herman, make Herman receive cupcakes to the face, make Springfielders earn cupcakes, and this will unlock the bag bags of stolen cash. So I, I, this is from the leader's little, when he's on the little thing, but I basically just want a, a big pile of, like, you know, money bags, basically. Bart tells Wiggum he didn't get much from Herman, just a vague description of the serpent. Wiggum tells Bart that that's great, but can he catch them? The serp oh, sorry, he can catch him. The serpent is robbing another bank with a bunch of crooks, of his crook goons. So you make Bart beat up crooks, make Bart look for the serpent, make Wiggum try to help out and make Springfield his own cupcakes, and this will unlock the Bank of Springfield. We've obviously got the first Bank of Springfield. I think we've got another Bank of Springfield, but we haven't got this one, which is just Bank of Springfield. It's slightly different. It technically is a different location, I guess, if you go by the name. So I figured uh, we'd uh, throw that in there. I know it's, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's just another another bank in the game. But why not? I mean, it's something at least. And then we have Bart screams at one of the crooks. Where is the serpent? The crook tells him that he made a getaway. Bart looks above. There in the sky is the serpent. He mocks the cupcake kid. You can't catch me, kid. I'm... Far too good. Bart thinks of that voice. I know it. It's Snake, that criminal who tempted me. So you make Bart look through Snake's record, make Wiggum tell Bart about Snake, and make Snake make a getaway. Make Springfield his own cupcakes, and this will unlock the Serpent's Blimp, which is right here. Very cool. So it'll just be a big blimp that you can kind of place with the Serpent logo on it. Bart figures out that Snake owns a blimp parking space just behind the Quickie Mart. Bart asks Apu, who tells them that Snake robbed the staff parking spaces in his last robbery. Bart tells Wiggum he's going to spring a trap and catch the serpent once and for all. So make Bart wait for the serpent, make Wiggum provide backup, make Bart detain the serpent and make the serpent be arrested. And, oh sorry, uh, sorry, that one, it won't be there because you're unlocking the serpent. Ignore that. Make Springfield his own cupcakes and this will unlock the serpent and also a token. So, yeah, you get the serpent as a costume. It will be a costume, not a character. A costume for Snake. I know there's one costume in this act, but I figure that's, it's not too bad. It's a cool enough costume, I think. Anyway, Act 2. So you've got the Crimson Cockatoo with the Monkey Tower. Now, I know that this costume or this thing only really appeared in a picture that Grandpa showed Bart. However, I still want it. I still think it could be really cool to get. So I think the Crimson Cockatoo uh, with the Monkey Tower would be cool. Mainly because we see him, like, you know beaten and 
being on the stairs, but I feel like we could tie in something. I know it wasn't exactly how it went down, but maybe his like mortal enemy, like Sideshow Bob's mortal enemy is Rakes. The Crimson Cockatoo's mortal enemy is Stairs. And I figured the best building to add with that is this, uh, the Monkey Tower. Now, I, I call it the Monkey Tower. Obviously, it's meant to be like a parody of King Kong. I guess, is it the estate building? I mean, maybe it's the Empire State Building. I'm not even sure what does the Empire State Building look like. It looks like a big tower to me. But whatever, you, you get this big tower anyway with this big monkey on the top. So the mystery beast strikes again, and this time it, the beast infests the retirement home with a toxic gas. Grandpa runs for his life. The fossil fuel four arrive and tell the old folks that they're going to put an end to all of their solar panels. So you make Grandpa run for his life, make Bart help defeat the fossil fuel, Four, make Millhouse back up Bart as the new Fallout boy. Make Springfield his own feathers, and this will unlock the burning power plant, which is right here. Obviously, this was where the Fossil Four sort of attacked. Um, it's technically not the. I thought when it was originally, there was like the actual nuclear power plant, but it's not. It's something separate. So, yeah, you just get this big plant, basically. Uh, there could be a building, I guess. Bart tells the Fossil Four their days are numbered, but they reveal that the gas that Bart and Millhouse have been. Um, shifting few through, that should be, oh god, I'm so dumb, that should be through, uh, isn't meant for the old people, it's meant for young people, Bart and Milhouse are unable to move, King Cole goes to end them, Grandpa and Jasper oversee this, Grandpa tells Jasper that they need to help out, so you make Grandpa suit up, make Jasper suit up if you own him, make Bart resist King Cole, make Milhouse resist uh, the fracking dude, and make Springfield his own feathers, and this will unlock Early Bird. So you get Early Bird as a costume for Jasper. Obviously, Jasper is a premium character. So if you don't own Jasper for any reason, then this just goes in your storage for whenever you get Jasper in the future, you can have this costume. Uh, they've done it in the past. I know it's not the greatest thing. I think normally I, I want premium costumes to be in the store. And I could have added, added this with Scobos because he goes to the Scobos in the episode. But I just figured... Um, I really wanted this building, so I, 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 I kind of, yeah, that's basically what happened. So, um, yeah, Grandpa as the Crimson Cockatoo, Cockatoo and Jasper as Early Bird defeat the Fossil Four in their bird duo. The Fossil Four vow revenge and, uh, and vow that their overlord will strike again as Wiggum arrives to arrest them. Bart tells Milhouse he kicked ass back there and he should really consider taking Fallout Boy's place. So you make Milhouse become the new Fallout Boy, make Wiggum arrest the Fossil Four, make Bart praise Milhouse, make Springfield his own feathers, and this will unlock the Fallout Boy audition sign. Not a, not an amazing decoration, I know, but it is a kind of funny sign, so I figured why not throw it in there. And it also ties in the whole Fallout Boy thing. So, yeah, um, I know it's not a great decoration. This one's kind of crappy, okay? But just imagine it's a token there. Like, what would you prefer? This this kind of sign, which isn't that great, or a token? I mean, I would I would take the sign any day. Um, yeah, also, Early Bird is the last of the dependables to add, and I'm very confused as to why they haven't added them yet. Anyway, Bart asks Grandpa and Jasper to help him and Milhouse fight crime, but Grandpa tells him that he needs to rest the Crimson and Cockatoo and hand the mantle to the next generation. Bart asks... Where he's going to go now? The retirement home is full of smoke and Grandpa tells him that because him and Jasper fought off the fossil fuel for, they qualify for the government's superhero retirement program. Well, you actually thought we were just trying to save you. Wait, wait, oh God. Oh God, I'm so illiterate. You actually fought, for this meant to be fought as in fought, T-H, um, we were just trying to save you? <laughs> so you make Grandpa apply for superhero retirement, make Jasper, if owned, do the same, make Bart throw away Grandpa's costume, and make Hope Millhouse practice being Fallout Boy, and make Springfield his own feathers, and this will unlock the rest home ca for care of old superheroes. Now I know in the episode it's called the rest care for home of Spider-Man, turn off the dark, but... We can just rename this. They can easily, you know, add this building in. But here, just put for old superheroes. Easy, easy fix. I don't know. I've done this for a few buildings, but that's. I feel like that's just the best way to get around copyright. They've done similar things like with the NASA. For some weird reason, they didn't. They didn't like just called the NASA buildings NASA. So I feel like even there, they were being careful. They called it like what did they call it? Like N S A or something like. Like they, they called it something different, basically. But if they want to get around copyright, like with something like this, it's quite simple. Just rename it. Um, Bart tells Millhouse that uh, it's just him and himself left to defeat the town, the, the, the you know the town's villains and Buddy 
the old Fallout Boy tells Milhouse he watched his audition tape and he doesn't have what it takes to be the new Fallout Boy, not at all. Milhouse says he can be and he can prove it. Buddy says, fine. Let's fight. So you make Milhouse battle the old Fallout Boy, make Bart try to stop the fight, make Springfield his own feathers, and this will unlock Buddy Hodges. So Buddy Hodges is the actor who played Fallout Boy, like, originally. Um, he was in, like, one episode, but figured why not add him in. So, yeah, that is the Act 2. So let's go to Act 3. Boom. Act 3 in the store, we got Lyle McCarthy with the ginormous pictures for 150 donuts. So Lyle was, of course, Homer's personal trainer when he was... Uh, when he was cast as Everyman in the Everyman movie, and obviously Lyle tried to get him into shape and all that. Uh, the ginormous pictures is one place where I think the film was pitched, so it's not like a, a great tie-in, but I figured it's probably the best we could do. So, yeah, and obviously with these signs, they might have to change, you know, get rid of these signs maybe, but that's, they could do that easily enough. Or they could just replace it with like a crusty sign or something, you know, like a crusty sign here and like a, I don't know, like a Arthur and Gabbo sign here. Um, anyway, let's go on. So the quest line. Lyle tells Bart and Milhouse that they're doing great work and asks them um, if they want to be in a film. He can be their personal trainer. Bart tells Lyle he's not interested in films. He has crime to fight. And anyway, they've already got a comic book deal going with Comic Book Guy. So you make Comic Book Guy print off comics, make Bart read, read himself, make Milhouse be disappointed in his adaptation. Make Springfielders earn Everyman Comics, and this will unlock the Springfield Copy Shop. This is basically just where they printed off the Everyman Comics, so it's the only reason why I'm throwing it in, but I figured why not. Bart complains to Comic Book Guy as he's shoved in an Everyman cameo where he saves Millhouse and Bart's asses. This is not fair. You know, Everyman doesn't even exist right now. We're the ones fighting crime. But Comic Book Guy insists he must increase his sales of his Everyman comic. Lyle jumps, jumps, jumps on this case. He's like, perfect, a new Everyman movie featuring Bart and Milhouse as side characters. Bart and Milhouse then, you know, they're getting mad, but Comic Book Guy, he makes the deal. Bart's like, what about our deal? But uh, Comic Book Guy, just, he doesn't care. So you make Comic Book Guy sign a new deal, make Bart complain, make Milhouse complain, make Homer audition to be Everyman, and make Springfielders earn Everyman comics. And this will unlock... Homer. <laughs> Everyman Homer. <laughs> I wrote this like at 3 a.m. last night. Well, it's 3 a.m. now. It's 4 a.m. actually. It's 4 a.m. And this is, see, I'm just quite, I'm just tired. I literally leave these like late at night, so there's all these spelling mistakes. I probably should check over it. But you get Everyman Homer as a costume. This one is pretty well requested. Now, they obviously gave us the actual Everyman in the game. And I'm, I actually like the fact they did that. I think that's pretty cool. But I do want an Everyman Homer costume. I can't lie. So, yeah. Wiggum informs Bart, informs, sorry, Bart and Milhouse, he's tracked down the man who made that dangerous gas. It was Dr. Lizard, every man's mortal enemy. Bart and Milhouse go to fight him, and Lyle tells Homer that this will be great for the marketing campaign for the Everyman movie. So you make Bart fight Dr. Lizard, make Milhouse fight Dr. Lizard, make Homer pretend to fight Dr. Lizard, and make Springfielders earn Everyman comics, and this will unlock Dr. Lizard's spider device thingy. You just get this thing in the game. Very cool. Dr. Lizard begins to release the gas. Bart tells Homer to stop him, but Homer doesn't. Dr. Lizard flees. As Bart and Milhouse are knocked out cold, Lyle tells Homer that that was awful. Homer says sorry and figures he's not cut out for this, but Lyle tells him to stick by it. Lyle visits Dr. Lizard in secret and offers him Hollywood cash to help make every man, every man's reputation something good. So you make Homer practice being every man, make Bart regain consciousness, make Milhouse regain consciousness, make Springfield, and obviously if you own Lyle, make Lyle, you know, deal with or pay Dr. Lizard or whatever. And Spring make Springfield as an Everyman comics, and this will unlock the rooftop fight the rooftop fight scene set. So I actually really like this. There's something in the Everyman episode. I think it's like a cliche, right? That there's always like a fight scene in superhero films that's like on top of a big roof. Um, and I feel like they could do something with this. So obviously in this building, this is the building where Homer like f f uh, films one of the fight scenes. So I figured, just give us this building as normal, but make the roof a bit bigger than like a normal roof would be. Um, and then just have like a few like props, you know, like a like a camera, like a camera here or something. You know, you can have these tables or whatever. Uh, make it look like it is a movie set on top of a on top of a roof. I think that could be pretty cool. Lyle has. The fight set up and tells Dr. Lizard that he needs to pretend to go down in an epic battle. Dr. Lizard agrees so long as he gets the cash and escapes after. Homer fails at the scene. Bart and Milhouse show up. So you make Bart capture Dr. Lizard, make Milhouse 
help capture Dr. Lizard, make Homer practice fight scenes. This will be an animation for the Everyman Homer costume, which will be on top of the it will be on top of this building where he does them. And make Springfield his own Everyman comics, and this will unlock Dr. Lizard. So Dr. Lizard, if you don't know already, this is blatantly the lizard from the Spider-Man comics. Alright? It blatantly is. Now they never explicitly say, oh, it's the lizard, like they do with other characters. But it looks just like it. However, there's a way around this. You change the color of his pants. Maybe change it to green. You change this color. Maybe change this to like a white. I don't know. Maybe not white. Maybe change this to green. Maybe make him a darker or a, a darker shade of green or a lighter shade of green. And you just make him uni unique as possible to the point where the copyright isn't an issue. All right. Uh, and anyway, I'm pretty sure this falls under parody. I mean, like, Family Guy gets away with it all the time. And also, who's going to sue them, right? So I'm pretty sure game rights to Spider-Man are owned by Sony still. And I'm pretty sure comic book rights yeah, comic book rights for Spider-Man are owned by Marvel, which is in turn owned by Disney. And obviously Disney owns Fox, which so they own tapped out. Um, now EA is technically licensed The Simpsons. They haven't licensed Spider-Man. So that's the reason why they don't tend to add copyrighted characters unless they're public domain. So the reason why we got like Cthulhu and Dracula characters like this are public domain meaning that anyone can add them to a story so if i wanted to write like a, a, a book about cthulhu i could and um, because it's in public domain this character isn't in public domain so i think there could be a bit tricky there because it tend i mean it's quite obviously the lizard from thingy if you really want though as a as a compromise replace all of uh, dr lizard's uh, plots with chinos all right just just replace it with chinos if, if you if it triggers you too much but i think they can get around it pretty easily and then in the store we've got the human fly with the skyscraper for 150 donuts pretty simple i really definitely want human fly in the game he's actually one of the one of the ones i want the most for sure um so yeah you go human fly with the big skyscraper that he climbs obviously so Quimby, and this is in the quest line, Quimby tells Bart that the town owe him big time, but he still needs to stop the beast and whoever is controlling it. Bart tells him he's on it and begins to interrogate Dr. Lizard. Who paid you to make that guess? Dr. Lizard tells Bart he's only, he'll only say if his freedom is granted. Bart tells him, no deal. That's not good enough, Dr. Lizard. Offers him, sorry, Dr. Lizard then offers to sweeten the deal. You need to be more powerful to defeat the beast. So you make Bart listen to Dr. Lizard's proposal, make Dr. Lizard talk about enhancing Bart's powers, make Quimby distract the town from the supervillain problem, and make Springfield his own dodgeballs, and this will unlock the super Bart rock carving. So, I'm actually basing this act on like a very small segment that's in an episode, it's a more modern episode, because I, I think it'd be cool to get two Bart costumes, because this is kind of a Bart event. So the first uh, thing that we get is this. Now I know that there's already a Bart Sphinx in the game, but this is like a Bart. This is like a rock carving. It does look a bit different. So yeah, that's the first anime thingy. Doctor Lizard tells Bart that you can, uh, he can give him flight, strength, and laser vision. All Bart needs to do is it, all for, all Bart needs to do is pick a signature weapon. Bart ponders. You need to tell me who is behind the beast first. Doctor Lizard tells him it's Doctor Lenny. Quimby rushes over to Bart. Uh, quick, the beast, he's in the town hall. Make Bart quickly pick a signature weapon. Make Dr. Lizard perform the enhancement. Make Quimby run for his life. And make Springfielders earn dodgeballs. And this will unlock the dodgeball rack. So it's just a just a rack that's on wheels, which has got a bunch of do dodgeballs in it. And that's pretty much all it is. Bart is transformed from Cupcake Kid to Super Bart. He tells Dr. Lizard he's not done. Uh, he has to... Uh, he's not done yet, though. He has to help defeat the beast. Dr. Lizard agrees. I'll help. Bart gets Millhouse and Everyman Homer and Buddy Hodges and even pulls in help from the human fly. We all need to come together to defeat this beast. They see the beast. Homer is in shock. It's... It's Pinchy! Bam, bam, bam. All the way back from the Superheroes 2 update. Bart tells them all to attack. 
and they all attack Pinchy. But Homer, though, is he's unable, he's broken. Millhouse is knocked out, the human fly falls off a building, Buddy Hodges does his back in. So you make Bart be defeated, make Homer cry over Pinchy, make Millhouse be knocked out again, make Buddy Hodges sit this one out, and make Dr. Lizard flee the scene, and make Springfielders earn dodgeballs, and this will unlock Super Bar as a costume. So, I know I was talking about copyright before, this one, I feel like it's a little easier. I feel like Super Superman parodies are like the, the, the easiest thing, because I don't think they really like, they don't tend to sue over those things. But um, it's different. It's a parody anyway. This falls under parody law for sure. So, yeah. And Dr. Lizard could as well. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm just i just trying to like be as realistic as possible. Um, so, Bart is trans... Oh, yeah, I've done that. Dr. Lenny stands over Bart telling him he has lost again. Him and Pinch... Uh, he has lost again against him and Pinchy. Dr. Lenny tells Bart that he's going to have a slow and painful death. Mwahahaha. Homer calls Dr. Lenny a monster. You turn Pinchy into that. Why, you little. So you make Homer strangle Dr. Lenny. Make Bart get to his feet. Make, or make, like, a final stand. Make Bart fight, find more dodgeballs. Make Springfielders earn dodgeballs. And this will unlock Planet Dodgeball. So you get this as a building. I feel that this one would be a really cool building. So, yeah, it was in this segment as well. Homer has Dr. Lenny beaten and bruised and tells Bart just to do it and finish Pinchy off. So you make every man Homer cry over Pinchy, make Bart defeat Pinchy, make superheroes back up Bart times five, and make Springfielders earn dodgeballs, and this will unlock the abominable Dr. Lenny. And that will be a full playable character that you unlock at the end. So, yeah, that's pretty much my event. Um... I feel like there's some there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Like I said, I could have had the Vindicators in this one. I just wanted to focus away from them, mainly because I did I did that in my movie event idea that I did a few months back. I, I kind of did a whole act focusing on them. And as much as I would, what it would be cool to get all the Vindicators, a lot of them don't have much character. So, and not to say that a lot of these don't have loads of character. Like I really want the Serpent in the game, for example. I think that one's a really cool one. I want that more than I want any of the any of the Vindicators, I'm not gonna lie. And also Cupcake Kid, just because he's the sidekick to Pie Man, I feel like he was he's like really necessary to add. I mean all of these guys are like eh, take him or leave him. I, I wouldn't be too mad if they weren't added. That's why I just took them in the Gills deal. Uh, Crimson Cockatoo, despite it just being a picture, I for some weird reason I really want this one in the game. I just think it'd be funny. Uh, obviously, I want Early Bird badly because why haven't they added him yet? We've got all the other dependables apart from Early Bird. Buddy Hodges, he'd be coolish. I'm not gonna. I'm not exactly like. I don't think he's a thrilling character. Same with Lyle. I don't think Lyle's particularly a thrilling character, but it'd be cool to get him at least. And then Everyman Homer, it's just a costume I want really badly. And Doctor Lizard, take him or leave him. I don't really care. Uh, Human Fly though. I think Human Fly is the one I want the most. I There's something about him. He's just such a weirdo. <laughs> I want him. Badly. And Dr. Lenny, just because he was the villain for the Dependables, I feel like you should add him there. You know, he was like the, the big evil, the evil villain for the Dependables. The Super Bart costume, again, take it or leave it. I just wanted to do something a bit different instead of having like a Vindicators act. And then so the epilogue is Quimby thanks Bart and the heroes for all their bravery and for stopping Dr. Lenny and Pinchy. Homer is in tears. Wiggum brings Dr. Lizard in and he tells Bart he was hiding at some shady looking bar. Dr. Lizard tells Bart that they had a deal and Bart tells Wiggum to lock him up. And he's like, psst, Dr. Lizard, there's one more thing you can do to me to, to make sure to, to get you out. So you make Dr. Lizard bring Pinchy back to life, make Bart break Dr. Lizard, uh, Dr. Lizard out of prison, and this will unlock Pinchy as an NPC, and Homer is overjoyed and in love. So, some people might be like, whoa, NPC, NPC he deserves to be a full playable character. Look, sure, I, I could see an argument for Pinchy being a playable character. I feel, though, that we should reduce... Um, I what's what's wrong with having really cool NPCs, okay? Because I've got one solution, all right, for for making Pinchy the coolest NPC ever. You click you click Pinchy, this happens, all right. So when you click little Pinchy as he's walking around his town, he just turns into big, big, massive, huge Pinchy, and he just like overtakes your entire road, and he just starts walking around. And you can tap him, you can just keep tapping him to make him small again or to make him huge. I feel like that's the solution. Just make him awesome, all right. Anyway, let's move on. 
So, doing some tasks. So, for Poison Lenny, we've got Avoid Superheroes for 60 minutes. So, this will be like a just a generic sort of superhero walks through, like an NPC, and then Lenny just jumps into a bush and hides. Talk to the trees for four hours. File a complaint against superheroes for eight hours. That'll be a police station. Trees will be at any tree. Uh, poison herself. I don't know what, which pronouns to use because I think it's, it's a transvestite in the game, right? So I'm just I'm just using herself, but just just to be. I mean, I feel like yeah. I don't know. It depends because it's transvestite, so I guess it could be could be him. So oh, whatever. Their self. Poison their self for twelve hours is an animation, and consider dressing more like a superhero for twenty four hours. For the Toker, we've got make a getaway for 60 minutes, so this will just be him. Uh, oh, by the way, for the poison, poison herself or herself uh, task, the animation will just be Lenny basically pulling off the gloves with the teeth and then sort of being like, ah, and then like sort of, you know, like choking, basically. For the Toker, we've got make a getaway, so this will just be our running. Rob a bank for four hours, so it'll just be him robbing a bank, uh, any bank really, the first class bank or the bank that you will unlock in this event. Uh, offer the police a sweet bribe for eight hours. That would be the police station. Smoke himself for twelve hours. So this will just be him stood there, uh, sort of his head smoking, and him being, and then him like sort of, you know, visibly being high as high as a kite, and try quit smoking himself for twenty four hours. That will be anywhere really. For sugar, we got sprinkle the sugar. So this will just be her pretty much just throwing little bits of sugar. Uh, forget why she's committing crime for four hours. Uh, that could just be Spencer City Apartments anywhere. Be up jerks for eight hours. That will be at any bar. Seduce an officer for 12 hours. So this will just be like an NPC police officer and her sort of seducing him, you know, like sort of showing a leg off or whatever. And then look for a new Spice for 24 hours, as in like a new person to replace Spice. Uh, for 24 hours, yeah, that could be anywhere. I'm pretty sure Sugar and, Sugar and Spice as well are DC... Um, minor villains as well so i feel like these ones could be an issue too and then for spice we got crack the whip so just like she did in the episode just quack cracking that whip forget why she teamed up with sugar for four hours beat up jerks for eight hours uh the forget why she teamed up with sugar be spinster city apartments the beat up jerks will be at any bar beat up an officer so instead of seducing it uh, spice just beats up the officer so it's her beating up the same sort of npc police officer just sort of beating him up and consider splitting from sugar for 24 hours. And that would just be the Spencer City Apartments. For the diddler, we got Think of Rhyme. So it'd just be him sort of pondering a thought. Maybe there could be like a little thought bubble above his head as he's like thinking of like adding two rhymes. Avoid capture for four hours. This could just be anywhere really. Brown house, I guess. Deliver a mystery to the church. That would be the church for eight hours. Call them in the minions for 12 hours. So this will include Rod and Todd in their little angel suits sort of by his side so it will include them in the animation but obviously they won't have a separate costume for their his little minions i don't i don't think they should have a set because they're separate characters i don't think there should be a separate costume so i i think instead we should just have flanders and there, there could be an animation that where rod and todd are in the in the costumes as well and then drive the police crazy for 24 hours that will just be the police station for mr mole or is it yeah mr mole or was it the mole or whatever it was uh, pop out of manholes so this will be 60 minutes, so it'll be him just popping out of that manhole that I talked about unlocking. Rally the mole people for, for four hours, that'll be him, uh, anywhere really, and he's brown house I guess. Plot his revenge on the surface for eight hours, that could be the, oh sorry, these will be the manhole. Rally the mole people, that'll be the manhole. Uh, plot his revenge on the surface, that'll be at the manhole. Hammer the hammer, ha hammer the hammerers, this should be, sorry. Hammer the hammerers for 12 hours. So there'll be like a little NPC who's like hammering at the manhole. And then Mole, Mole Man just sort of jumps out with a larger hammer and just starts chasing the, you know, or like he just hits the guy with the hammer and then returns back to his manhole. And then the, the animation repeats. And then hide underground for 24 hours. That will also be at the manhole. So that's why I needed the manhole in the game because all of them are going to be included. I mean, they could just add the old Secret Agents one, but it's not like an actual proper manhole. So... Yeah, I figured just add a proper one. For Cupcake Kid, we have Throw Cupcakes, so it'll just be him chucking cupcakes aimlessly in the street. Read complaints about the frosting for four hours. That'll be in the Brown House or the well, Simpsons House, I guess. Cupcake Bad Guys uh, for eight hours. That could be Brown House. Actually, the read complaints could be at Edna's Edibles. Uh, beat up Crooks for 12 hours. So it'll be just him um, beating up like a 
like a just sort of random like crook, you know, just sort of beating him up and then throwing a, uh, a cupcake in his face. And help Marge bake more cupcakes for 24 hours. That'll be at the Simpsons house with Marge. For the serpent, we have fight a real serpent for 60 minutes. So in the episode, he gets like impaled by like a serpent's teeth. And it's kind of like this big irony thing. You know, he's killed by a serpent statue. I figured I want to see this guy actually like fucking fight a real serpent. All right. So that same serpent, bring it to life and have him just be like fighting it. I feel like that'd be cool. Rob the Crime City Museum for four hours. Uh, so that'd be the Crime City Museum. Face off against Bartman for eight hours. So this will include Bartman uh, just to tie in, obviously, that whole rivalry. So, yeah, this will include but the Bartman costume. Ride his blimp for 12 hours. So that would be him on top of the blimp, kind of, you know, holding onto a rope or something, and him, like, sort of laughing. And maybe, like, he's about to fall off it, and then he manages to catch his fall or something. And then avoid capture for 24 hours. This could just be anywhere, really. Brown house. For the Crimson Cockatoo, we have Fight His Mortal Enemy, Stairs. So this will be a 60 minutes animation. So basically a small staircase will sort of form. I don't know how, really. It could form just outside the uh, the tower, the big tower with the monkey on it. But basically the, the stairs will form and he'll begin to try and climb it and then he'll just fall, fall down the stairs. Reminisce on the more active days for four hours. This will be, could be anywhere really, the old superhero place, I guess. The rest for old superheroes. Look for his replacement for eight hours. <clears throat> this could be at the school. Uh, try recover from another fall for, for 12 hours. So this will be him at the bottom of, just in front of the tower. Um, the monkey tower. And it will be him like attempting uh, attempting to try and get up. Uh, and then like pulling, like coughing up some feathers and then trying to get up. Something like that. And then fall down for many flights of stairs for 24 hours. That will be at the, the monkey tower just because it was a huge tower. Uh, and now I'm pretty sure that's the Empire State Building. I'm not. I'm not sure. I think it might be. Um, for <laughs> for early bird, we've got eat before a fight. So this will be sixty minutes. This will be here. Like there'll be like um. I don't know how to do this, but it'll just be him like eating. Like I guess maybe like someone's robbing a bank. Like maybe there's a crook. Like there's a little crook NPC with like a, a bag of money, and then Jasper goes to like fight him, and he's like. Hang on. And then he like pulls out a burger or something and starts eating it. Uh, rest in the rest care for old superheroes. So that'll be four hours. Uh, talk to the other dependables for hours. So this will include all the other, or at least one other dependable, I guess, or all the other dependables. Fly around. This will just be him pretty much flying across your screen. So like like Arnie Pie does in his helicopter and home, Santa Hober in his sleigh. I think like this could be a really cool one where Early Bird just flies across your screen like the others doing their tasks. And then eat first, fight later for 24 hours. Could be anywhere really. Um, yeah. For Buddy Hodges, we've got complain about the fans for 60 minutes. So this will be him on a podium, sort of smoking, complaining, like shouting, you know, getting, getting visibly angry. Stay in the rest home for old superheroes for four hours. So that will be him in there. Regret, regret his acting decisions. Again, that could be the same, the, the rest home. Try fit into his into the Fallout Boy suit. So this will be him in an oversized, you know, sorry, undersized uh, Fallout Boy suit. He can barely fit into it. And he's trying his best to like, to like zip it up or something. And then worn off new Fallout Boys for 24 hours. That can be, uh, that could be anywhere really. I guess the school maybe. For Lyle McCarthy, we've got to figure out which phone he is ringing. So this this is something that happens in the episode, but he'll like some, you know, like his, there's like a little, I guess, um, basically he's like searching and he pulls out a phone and he, he tries to answer it, nothing's there. And he pulls out a different phone, tries to answer it, nothing's there. And then he pulls out a third and then, it, you know, he answers it and then, and then he just talks on the phone and then he hangs up, puts it back and then repeat. Berate his clients for not training hard enough for four hours. This could be the Gino's pictures, I guess. Uh, manage all his clients for eight hours. Again, same place. Train actors for 20, 12 hours. So this could include just a little NPC. So just a random little NPC. I know I've got too many of these NPC ones. I normally hate NPC animations so much where they have like a little NPC come in. And I'm doing so many of them. And I apologize, but I, it's tapped out. They've made me do it. But basically there'll be a little track, a little actor running on a treadmill and he'll be like shouting at them. And then make movie deals for 24 hours that'll be at the ginormous pictures for every man we've got get into get into shape so this will just turn this into this or alternatively they can have a task which is get out of shape where he his main costume is this and then he turns into this either one is fine but so yeah i mean i only got this picture because 
obviously this is um, the one that has no background on it. But I actually think I would prefer the Everyman costume to look like this and have a task where he looks like this. Do interviews about the film for four hours. So that will just be anywhere really. Film the movie for eight hours. That will be at the, the rooftop fight scene thingy. Film a rooftop fight scene for 12 hours. So this will be him actually like filming like some form of like action film and maybe like falling over or something like making a fool out of himself. And then rewrite the script for 24 hours. That should be for 24 hours. For Dr. Lizard, we've got ride around causing terror. So he'll just be riding around this thing around Springfield. Um, so it will be similar to the ice mobile how when that moves it moves and drives around Springfield But you can't like move the space where you placed it basically It'll be the same thing so this you know you'll place it somewhere and when it's when it's in use He'll be like, you know Just going around the roads in this thing break out of prison for four hours I'll be at the penitentiary blackmail Springfield for eight hours. I'll be at the town hall fight every man Homer So this actually be a third animation for every man Homer, but included in dr. Lizard So basically every man Homer and dr. Lizard uh, He'll be firing his little gun and every man Homer will be like dodging it And it'll be like the fit version of uh, every man Homer and commence experiments for 24 hours That could just be anywhere really Frink slab I guess for the human fly. We've got dye underwear So this will be him you know like a little little table little sort of um bowl of water and like a, he'll have like a little squirty thing, you know, squirting the dye in, in some white underwear and he dips it in the water and he pulls it out and they're red and then he, he puts them on and then he just, you know, he puts the underwear on. Beg for a TV interview for four hours, this will be at Channel 6. Uh, plan to climb the Burj Khalifa for eight hours, why not? Um, uh, try to get attention for 12 hours, so this will be his task on the building where basically, as you see here, he'll just be... He'll be on top of the building and he'll be like shouting, like trying to get attention, but no one give, gives a shit. If they really wanted it, it, for added effect, they could have an NPC just walk past and not notice him, but they don't need that. And then create crime to fight for 24 hours. That could be anywhere really. Brown house, I guess, or town hall, school, anywhere really. For Super Bart, we've got throw dodgeballs for 60 minutes. So this will be him just chucking dodgeballs uh, at anything really, just sort of throwing them. Or it could be practice for own dodgeballs. Uh, get more dodgeballs for four hours. That will be at the dodgeball rack. Stop outer world threats for eight hours. That will be... This one's tricky. I feel like it could be at the NASA thing. But if you don't have the NASA thing, it could be the observatory. But if you don't have the observatory, I guess brown house. I feel like NASA, observatory, or brown house works. But brown house is like a last resort if you don't have, if you don't have um, the observatory. Open up Planet Dodgeball for 60 minutes. So this will be him in like a suit, um, like he is in the uh, scene. But basically, he'll just be there, you know, cutting the red car, you know, cutting the tape or whatever, and um, sort of showing people around. And then fight Pinchy for 24 hours. This will be at Dr. Lenny's lab, if you own it, or any sort of superhero building, to be honest. And for Dr. Lenny, we've got Laugh Maniacally for 60 minutes. Will be him just laughing. Or it could actually be Practice Evil Laugh. I feel like that would be better. So Practice Evil Laugh, he'll just be there like laughing and be like, hmm, actually, more more, more inflection. And, you know, like he, you can tell that he's like changing his voice. Reveal Master Plan to Fruit, for, to fruit Batman. So this will be a task with Fruit Batman, ideally in his lab, which we've already got in the game. Clean up his lab for eight hours. That'll be obviously in his lab. Uh, but if you don't own his lab for any reason, it'll just be the brown house. Uh, create abominations for 12 hours. So this will be him on a table. There'll be like a little cat and he'll put some, um, you know, some chemicals on the cat and it will turn into like something like a big beast or something. Or maybe, yeah, something like that. And then maybe also there could be a lobster and it turns into basically what Pinchy's animation is. They can just steal, they can just reuse the other Pinchy animation. And then finally, hide from the Dependables for 24 hours, so that will be in this lab. So that is the Super Heroes 2 update. I think this one would be really cool, personally. I know some of the stuff I've added is not like massively realistic for tap-up standards, but that's just my update. So tell me your thoughts on it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to head over to the poll and vote for what mini-update you would like to see next, because uh, I'm about done with major updates. Ugh, I'm tired. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.